In your travels around the new Swamps of Courses DLC, you might have come across little rooms like this that contain a beetle. The beetle can be a, a couple of different colours, red or black. The black one drops a piece of hardened carapace. They don't respawn once you reset the dungeon, but they could be there if you re-roll the entire world. They don't show up in every dungeon. They, they seem to show up in the newer ones and they will run off and skit it into the hole if you're not quick enough to kill them if they do skitter off you can go back to the crystal and reset and try again but those hardened carapaces are useful for the crafting of the carapace armor the red ones drop rings and trinkets and I'll, uh, I'll put the details of a couple of those up on the screen for you now and it took me a while to figure out what on earth we do with those hardened carapaces well i found out in a rather unusual way it involves the parasite debuff and just as a reminder this is how you get the parasite debuff get grabbed by one of these guys they're reasonably common in adventure mode and do not hammer the button to get out of it you actually need them to grab you and stick something delightful down your throat uh oh right Which area is this? Ah, it's the brain bug. What? He talks to you if you've got parasite on. Has he got a thing in his mouth? Oh no, he's got a person. Hello. Okay. <gasps> He's a vendor. Oh, he might right this is where you get the shell um armor from but you need three uh, so i need to find some more of those hardened carapaces they were a bit of a pain to get because you can only get them from certain beetles still that's another thing that you can do with the parasite then you can uh talk to the brain bug Mar Margosh and um, buy some armor off him. So that's where you get the second new armor set. What was it called? Carapace. Oh, yes, it's very chitinous and buggy. It reminds me a lot of the uh, collector armor for Mass Effect. Harden. When getting hit, damage is reduced, encumbrance is increased, and movement speed is reduced for three and a half seconds. Stacks five times. When getting hit, also has a 10% chance to reduce damage taken by 30%. So, it's very much a tanky, in your face melee set, I guess. Finding those, uh, finding those other bugs, however, is going to be 
a little bit annoying. Still, go see if I can find some of them. Another little trick for you to try with the Parasite debuff and Morgosh the Brain Bug. If you come here, which is the throne of the Iskal Queen in Corsus, there's a load of beetles. You can kill these beetles if you kill enough of them, or potentially if you just tread on enough of the tiny, tiny ones, an event will spawn. It is a big blue beetle. You can kill said blue beetle, and it'll give you this particular item. Then you can go with the Parasite debuff. Remember, you've got to have Parasite. Go and talk to the brain bug, and you will get the luminescent trait. Increases chance to double the amount of luminite crystal acquired on pickup when killing elite enemies. Acquired by giving the opalescent shell to the brain bug on Corsus. Not a bad little bonus, actually, that, and it doesn't require a huge amount of work. Hope this has been an entertaining video for you all. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you all in the next one with yet more Remnant content. Until then, Hoodle Pip. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.